I started losing my hair roughly, or I noticed I started losing my hair roughly around 19 years old. I knew there was a situation going on up there. Uh, I just kind of ignored it until about 22 years old. I knew I was in college, and that's when things started changing. Where that's when I started wearing hats. Uh, I knew that my my hair was getting so thin that it was affecting my life, and my haircuts getting kept getting shorter and shorter and shorter to a point where eventually I just end up bicking my head. And for the last 10 years, I've done nothing but shave my head to the scalp, knowing that it made me feel more confident than I felt before. With that, I tried alopecia uh, pill that you would take um, that was very costly, out-of-pocket expense. My doctor told me that if you take the pill, that it's, you know, it's going to prolong it, uh, but it's inevitable that you're still going to eventually lose your hair. I looked into Rogaine, tried that. Uh, that didn't work out too well. Also looked into hair transplants, usually it's your end result. The high risk uh, just wasn't worth going through that procedure. If it didn't work, that was my biggest issue. If it didn't work, what happens next? What do I do? Uh, as well as the outcome of having scars in your head long-term wise. So I just uh, came, to, came to terms with just wanting to just keep my head shaved. There's nothing else out there. And then until recently, six months, early, or six months ago, uh, after 10 years of shaving my head, I came across scalp micropigmentation, started doing homework for about a month, month and a half, and then when I found scalp aesthetics I, and I went into that office, it was just a game changer from that point forward. Like it was just a night and day. I walked out that day, looked in the mirror, and it's just one of those you can't stop looking at yourself and, and just doing different angles and I can't believe this is really happening. Like it's really there. Uh, and ever since then, people just, they didn't really notice. They, nobody ever noticed questioned family for 10 years who have seen me shave my head just I, I guess you're growing your hair out and I just went with it I said absolutely I'm just growing a five o'clock shadow and nobody questioned I got a lot of people saying it looks real it looks real and until I joined Scalp Sex Buffalo I just told them it is real and now that they found out what it really is it's just a mind-blowing atmosphere at my work with my family it's just an overall experience that uh, I, I don't think I could have made a better decision for myself in my life this far. When I first went in to initially get the consultation and had the procedure done, the beauty of this is you can actually almost design the hairline that best fits you, uh, that I wanted. And uh, Frank actually worked with me in the sense of what I wanted and also what makes sense for your age and your look and, and your head structure. Uh, so when we went in and he shaved my head down and we started drawing out the hairline, um, that's when the experience of like, this is really gonna happen. Uh, after that point and he put me on the procedure chair and started going, uh, it, it, the, the pain level is really not that really not that bad at all. I, I thought it was gonna get a lot worse um, concerned they're putting you know hundreds and hundreds of pigments into your scalp that you would think that this is gonna be you know long term recovery or anything of that sort and the pain level is not that bad whatsoever. It's if I had to rate it from a zero to a ten, literally it's like a two or a three. Um, and to come out after a, one session, which roughly I think was about two to three hours, and he gave me that mirror and you could literally see the hair like the the mimic pigments in your in your scalp that look exactly like a hair follicle uh, is what took me back. Uh, the whole experience from the procedure from start to finish was just incredible, comforting, made you feel like you were a part of the family. Uh, and it, it just, uh, it was a great experience. And I kept coming back for another one the following week to do touch-ups. I probably had four procedures done just to get it perfectly blended in with my natural hair. And I think that's the coolest part about the procedure is that even though the pigments on top are, are, not as, are not your real follicles, that we can perfectly blend it into your natural hair that will allow the 100% undetectable, that natural look that you always have regardless, you know, whether you shave your head or not, you always will have that clean cut look uh, with real looking hair follicles.